<laughs> Ram gang. We in this in this thing I stay up Ram gang. We in this in this thing I stay up Ram gang. We in this in this thing I stay up Ram gang. We in this in this thing I say uh what you doing here if you ain't looking for no Aries We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries Gang, gang, turn up, crack it for Aries We stay turned up, we be talking about them Aries What's up gang gang? What's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aryan? A beautiful Loving, prosperous, look, pro- prosperous, abundant, happy, joyful, blessed area. Hmm. Hmm. I say, I say, I say, I say, are we in the building? Say, ow. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is first time you're on my channel, I'm okay. Also, if this is your first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss. May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can best assist you without cussing. Because me, the way I'm set up, I'm going to do that, all right? To the um, new subscribers, welcome to the family, y'all. We all are dysfunctional. We don't fight a fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, but we do cuss. We share, we grow, we love, we enlighten y'all, we evolve. Poly vibes on. This shit was just sticking out. I had my messy bun, but I don't need it to be like. Extreme, like, like, extremely messy, like, don't be embarrassing me. All these little prop stunts and stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, you Aries, you know how we get down. I gotta be all right. I can even let my ass out for peace. Hey, before I just go out like the other one, though, I ain't going out like that. All right, sorry, you guys. <laughs> I know this. I've been extremely observant lately with everything. All right, um, to the returning subscribers, family, uh, welcome back, y'all. We made it. How does it feel? To know that Uranus fucked with us for years, all them years. And a lot of people are kind of running around like chickens with their head cut off. And Aries is just like, oh, that's what you're going through? Oh, okay. You know, and so there's a need for us to, you guys, um, come into alignment with the energy of our complete square. That's that of Libra. So that... That whole we, okay? So you know Aries energy is that Mars energy which is governing the me, okay? So it's in order for us, if this is gonna be the season of the we, collaborations, relationships, associations, uh legal legalities and um legalization shit. It's a word. I, I think it is. It, it, go, don't get me to talk to that Google 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 girl. <laughs> is that a word? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Shit, okay. But neither here nor there, you guys, we're going to talk about it. This is a general. It's not a personal. You guys, thanks so much for all of the likes, the shares, the subscribe, the comments. I truly appreciate you guys for that. Um, This is a uh, general, y'all. It's not a personal. If you need personal information, there's currently a special going on. I got the one question, one answer for $10 going on. I got the two questions for two answers, 15 minutes, $25 a special going on. And my 30-minute special is currently $50 up until Cinco de Mayo. And y'all better catch me before midnight because after that, I'm throwing them those seconds with a little splash of Hennessy back I deserve it okay let's roll she so we're gonna start off with the intuitive messages um and all that information for a person y'all could be found in the description we're gonna start off with the intuitive messages for the sign of Aries for the month of May okay so for you guys the messages that I received intuitively was acceptance surprises artists creativity Sudden wealth, move in silence, spiritual marriage, closure, force towers, wealth, allowance, stand your guard, career change, balancing, surprise pregnancy, come on, persevere, walking away, Test of growth, engagement, come on, Aries, spiritual abundance, karmic crutch, dreams, travel, life path, force towers, values, 
Confessions Lease Agreements Alignment Thoughts Become Things Rapid Manifestation Renewing Business Elevation Synchronicity Settling It's Time to See Property Deeds Legal Documents Inheritance Okay so if the intuitive messages did resonate with you, let's talk about it. It's your message, boo. All right. So the messages are going to come a bit different. Um, instead of using Oracle, well, instead of using um, my old faithful Oracle cards, um, I am going to be using the Doreen Virtue Archangel Oracle cards, all right, to uh, deliver the messages for you all. The overall energy around my Arians during this time, you guys got the... Well, my light sucks. Sorry, I ain't a rich bitch yet. But when we get, but what? When I make, no, when I make, when I'm there, I'm on the way. So I'm not the loud. When we get now, you guys have the Ace of Spades. <laughs> you know, I'm goofy. <laughs> have you guys been feeling real childlike lately? Because I definitely have. I play too much. I've been uh, you know, because people who I deal with, they don't want to let go. You know, so you gonna call me from a text now number. You know, when I got, I got, I make time, my, my petty, I told my friend this day, my petty outweighs my feelings. <laughs> She's like, just, just block them. No, I'm not block. And, 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 and let them miss all of this glow up. No, I'm not blocking you. I'm just not going to answer your calls. And then, but I'm not going to block you. No, you got to see all of this. Okay. Not only do you got to see all of this, but if I block you, then, you know, I can't be petty when I want to. I don't really go out as much as I used to. I don't really do too much. I cut up for my birthday. I really wanted to share a picture with y'all. But y'all, y'all, I didn't want y'all to be like, <laughs> in the comments, like, bust down. I see y'all bust down. <laughs> I want to, you know, I didn't want that type of attention for you too. I've been over here, you know, keeping it professional. This up, you know, and sometimes this up be enough. So with that said, um, you guys, I just been feeling real goofy. I've been playing on people's phone lately. When the last time y'all played on somebody's phone? This call. <laughs> if you gonna stalk me, you got time. So you got time to answer this phone for my shenanigans when I feel like in my, I'm in my little pity bag, okay? Period. Let's rock. But some of you guys could be embarking up on a new beginning, new love, okay? Some of you guys may also be moving towards your life purpose during this time. For some of you all, some of you guys have been feeling like you've been being watched. For some of you all, you are absolutely right. A message uh, similar to this came up in, um, I believe that was Pisces reading yesterday. It came from Pisces reading yesterday, and for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Pisces, or um, or some of you guys, this could some of y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, and this could be the ex. Because I definitely feel like it was like an outside energy, not someone that um, it wasn't the one the person like you were dating, but for some of y'all, this was like an ex or someone just was that was very obsessive. Okay, so if you have any type of Piscean placements in your chart, you might want to go check out that video. Um, but be well, you know. It was look both ways for you cross the street, kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I will say, during this time, the first message that you guys got, though, comes from Archangel Zachiel. We got compassion, you guys. It says, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. So for the for, for Arians, I definitely feel like some of us may be in the, because some of you guys, it's, a, it's the energy of... um. Some type of solar plexus activation. So some of you guys could be going through some major solar plexus act, uh, solar plexus activation during the month of May, or maybe your solar plexus with solar, solar plexus. I hate that word, y'all. Solar plexus was inactive. Okay, so it could have caused you to be a bit lazy or not really have much momentum. So I definitely see that shifting during the month of May. Okay, I also see some of you guys could also be uh, researching like different archangels or like it's, it's something about the um. Something about like the levels or like um like the structure of archangels or the various groups of archangels and what they govern. Some of you all also may be studying crystals during this time. Rose quartz, especially if you're trying to do some type of um heart chakra healing. Some of you guys may be trying to do some sort of um healing to the heart chakra, receive some type of energy clearing for your to open your heart chakra or to um assist you in receiving or releasing energy so that you can receive love or expand your heart chakra for some of you all this is i'm, I'm hearing this have to do with the with the actual union past life past life uh regression past life union some of you guys could also be practicing the law of attraction during this time it could also be seeing like esoteric like 
<sighs> some of y'all um also may be um I'm sorry y'all if you if you have any type of uh clear card in this clear audience you know that it comes really really fast and here recently um. I've recently overgone a massive download, leaving out of the month of April. So um, I will say that there is a lot of information that I receive when it comes to uh, worldly things. But we're going to talk about that in another video. For my Aryans who are dreaming um, or who are trying to, um, if you're in this space where you feel as if your dreams, like maybe you guys are dreaming like, like things are happening to you or it's like some form of familiarity but there have been past life regressions through the dreams and there will be in the month of may i'm saying which brings me to my next angel message which you guys got was spiritual understanding archangel raziel okay i'm bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? So I definitely feel like I'm hearing alignment. So some of you all, some of y'all could be have uh, could have aligned all of your chakras. Some of you guys could also be going to some sort of. I heard the word temple, so some of you guys could be traveling to some sort of temple. I heard the word India. I also heard the word um, Egypt. So some of you guys could also be going to Egypt during this time or planning a traveling um, some type of travel to Egypt. Some of you all as well. Some of you guys may be dreaming about like esoteric symbols and I feel like it's have to be, especially if you have some type of like um doula or like Kemet Kemet like background or if you have some type of tie to um like sacred like sacred geometry or sacred geometrics. Some of you guys, there is some type of heart chakra activation that has to do, it's like time, it's entangled with some type of heart chakra and crown chakra activation. Some of y'all may be going through some type of like, some of you guys actually may be going through a, like a Merkabah light activation, like some type of Merkabah ascension. Some of you all during this time may also be, um, some of y'all during this time there's a come okay for those of you who are having dreams and you're wanting to know like because i feel like the energy of aries like doubting themselves so for those of you who are receiving this information and you're receiving this information in dream form and you're able to research it like you're able to remember it and research it some of you guys are afraid to share what it is that you're finding during this time because I feel like <laughs> some of y'all are also oh y'all some powerful motherfuckers some of y'all could play with the weather some of you guys are realizing that you have some type of tie to the elements as well especially when it comes to air or there's being some type of combustion you guys are learning how to combust like some type of combustion of the elements okay For some of you all, some of you, gotta, some of you guys have a massive crown chakra activation, and it's going to occur near a big body of water. So for those of you who are feeling cool to like beach or the beach or like um, a big body of water, trust yourself. Follow your intuition and go. Your last message. Let's also focus y'all on the throat chakra. Some of you all may be traveling somewhere where there's like, some of y'all may be actually moving somewhere where there's mountains. Some of you all uh, may be having some type of astral travel experience during this time. For those of you who have mutable energy in your chart, who, who astral travel on the regular. Some. I don't like talking about stuff like this because I don't want the people to lock my ass up. But some of y'all, somebody may be uh, researching Area 51. And that of it, like Atlantis, like I start with. Okay, if you're gonna research that, y'all start with the Pleiadians and the Arcturians. Start start with that aspect of it first, and then keep going. Also, ancient texts other than um, the Bible. So don't just stick to one text. Seek and you shall find. For those people who are religious, who do follow me, baby. But your uh, your next angel message that you guys got comes from Archangel Jermiel. It says overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you, 
and you are surmounting any previous challenges come through Aries. so the worst is behind us a lot of you guys do have this anxious energy currently like it's an energy of i'm motherfucking tired but there's also an energy of i know that i have to keep going but you don't have to keep looking over your damn shoulder because Uranus is not up under your bed and in your closet. No more, dog. There's a need for you not to overextend yourself to other people as it may be draining during this time because a lot of people are kind of being forced to, especially when you, if you're dealing with a fixed sign, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. A lot, and you'll notice that a lot of them um, are kind of being forced out of their fixed ass ways. So it's a need for you to kind of be patient with yourself because this person may be a bit tumultuous during this time. Some of you guys could be finding white feathers as well. And it's just your ancestors letting you know that you are protected and to keep your peace. I'm here to keep your peace. Peace be still. You guys need to watch who you... Um, there's a need for you guys to not let the left hand know what the right one is doing during this time. And just kind of sit back and instead of being argumentative, it's a need for Aries to do way more listening than talking in the month of May. We've been on that shit since about December, but... You're just kind of emphasizing that right now. And you're, there's a need for you not to share your ideas, your creative endeavors, your ideas with anyone during this time. There's also a need, I'm hearing plan, 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 strategize. So Aries, what, and I'm also hearing Saturn. So I do feel for some of you all, what Saturn is coming to do is to bring structure to the create, pretty much to your creative endeavors. For those of you who possibly jumped out there last year, like myself as well, who jumped out there. And you guys, I love um, being able to share my authentic self with you all. I love people. I love what I do. So to be able to just, I just jumped out there, me being a damn Aries. And to be honest with you, y'all, we, we pretty damn impulsive. So there's a need for you guys to slow down as if you can actually take on and like find some type of duality and harmony within the aspects of a Libra and being more strategic about your movement forward in order to see things shift for you, okay, without you having to work so hard, because there's a, there's this energy of, I work, I've done this, I've done that, I've done that, I've done that, and I'm only seeing this, and Spirit is saying, what have you done differently, what can, what can you critique within yourself to do differently, so it's not the time to compare, can't compare apples to oranges anyway, Aries, I mean, lips, hair, really shit, but there is a need for you to properly plan don't do things the same way if you just jumped out there there's not you need not to have if you jumped out there and something wasn't successful before there's a need for you not to have the fear around it anytime because now it's something about divine time and so now it's the time for you to move the energies um the energy is pretty much at bay supports your journey for some of you all this have to do with your life path the time is now especially as we're coming into this damn tourist new moon the time is now it's an expansive year, but you got to believe in yourself like you believe in waking, up, waking your ass up. And you can't have people in your energy that's going to shake that up in no form, way, or fashion. Some of you all, you, will, you may be um, thinking about expanding your brands. For some of you all, you actually may be thinking about expanding as far as love, like location for a business. Y'all, you see this? So don't be like, Umoka, what is that behind you? This is a shadow. It's because of the light. Now I just want y'all to say, hey, who's that behind you? Shadow. It's me, y'all. <laughs> I've been fucking waiting, okay? Trust me. But no, it's me. Some of you all may be connecting with someone who um could have passed over on the other side. This person will be assisting you and guiding you. But for some of y'all, this goes for, the, for those of you who can astro travel. This person is going to be assisting you um in it like kind of like way showing but this person is going to be assisting you in the form of like Aries have the energy to make the move to, to pretty much make the moves but there's a lack in direction or a, a lack in it's either like a, a, a where or how that I'm feeling some of you guys also really need to, um, I don't know why I feel that Nikki. Some of y'all need to clean your damn car. And some of y'all also, you know, you like, look at that random and shit. Will it let me, t let me see it? Let 
some of you all also may be seeing um, white winged animals during this time. White butterflies, dragonflies, moths. Your ancestors are really, really, really going to be very heavy in your energy during this time. Alright? Well, that's what I have for you guys. Oracle message. Let's get it. The messages that you have. For my gang, gun, Aries. In love for the first half of May. Okay, they flipping. Yeah, some of you guys, <laughs> some of you guys, it, 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 right when I get ready to say y'all, two cards fail. You got the wheel of fortune and the five of wands. Okay, so some of you guys could be um, going through arguments. Okay, some of you guys could be internally conflicted regarding ending cycles. This could have to be with work. I'm hearing also as relationships. Some of you guys or um, Ending cycles with, with there was turmoil, okay, possibly with the Leo, a Scorpio, um, an Aquarian, or a Taurus, okay. Some of you all, some of you all, this person wants to come in and actually end the cycle of fighting with you, but actually transform the relationship, especially if you guys have any type of family dynamic, because I heard family. For some of you all, you don't have a family dynamic with this person, but for some of you all, it's just stubborn. This person was stuck in their ways. And for some of you all, this person is, you have them to end the cycle um, because this person is undergoing a transformation. Yes, definitely. Some of y'all definitely dealing with the damn sign of Leo. The strength card. Her rising. So this person can have a Leo rising as well. Yeah, with the King of Swords here. Some of you guys could also be ending a cycle possibly with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. For some of you all, you just really intuitively, some of y'all know that you just pretty much separated yourself from the bullshit, okay? Some of you guys could have also, um, some of y'all got a Virgo that's trying to manifest you back in their life. I feel like you could have really, like, threw this person, you could have threw this person away a long time ago, you guys. But I definitely feel like this person has been trying to manifest you back with some sort of, like, I heard come to me. Some of y'all have somebody in your energy doing come to me spells on your ass during this time. I don't got to tell Aries how to clear themselves and protect themselves. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really like really getting into the whole magic sector because we all know with fire signs, it's really kind of hard to put magic on a fire sign because your magic is only as strong as the person's will. If a person's will believes that they can be touched by that magic, then they ain't going to be touched by that magic. But I feel like I'm motherfucking, uh, doctor, I'm untouchable, bitch. So just keep it. And Aries, just keep that same energy. You know, you can you can even share, you can use that if you need to borrow it. Hold on, let me cut on my spotlight. Well, I'm getting back up in here. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. We are the light. We are the I, 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 I. Spotlight. Spotlight. We are the light. Is that better? It is. It is. You can see me. <laughs> some of you guys could actually be, um, some of you guys, there could be a Leo that wants to come in and transform a relationship, possibly after third party relationship, after a third party situation occurred, possibly with another Aries, okay? But some of y'all could also be fighting with another Aries, I'm seeing there in this time. So, yeah, some of you guys, you could have cut this person off in the past and this person, some of y'all, this person, could this could have been 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 years. But some of you guys are definitely ending cycles. Your ending cycles were there to most you. And I feel like it's an energy of I've tried, I've tried before to mend this. Now I just want to walk away. I want something new. A lot of my areas are in this place of solitude, focusing on spiritual abundance. A lot of you all are really researching the law of attraction during this time. Don't get it twisted. Me too. <laughs> Some of you all, you're focused on moving it forward. Some of you guys maybe actually be closing cycles when it comes to jobs. Some of y'all actually may quit a damn job during this time. For those of you who are waiting on some type of, um, to, like, wait to hear about some type of loan. I, mean, I heard loan and I also heard investment, okay? So for those of you who are waiting to hear back from some type of loan, also some form of legality, uh, I do see justice definitely being in your favor, especially if someone had deceitful intentions. Or malice intention, okay? For some of you all, uh, some of y'all could be dealing with a Sagittarius. 
someone could be wanting to come in and speak to you during this time. And for some of you, all, I feel like intuitively you already you already know. Like I feel like some of you guys. There's a focus on just wanting new. I just want to move forward. Some of y'all make, again, physically up and leave and don't tell nobody, okay, during the month of May. Some of you guys may be traveling to go live someplace where there's water. For others of you, you may go somewhere where there is, like, rocks. I heard Arkansas. I heard Kansas. Arizona, Denver, but a lot of you guys are focusing on transforming your life, moving forward, ending old cycles, leaving old cycles in the past. Some of you guys are cutting off a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You just really want to be by yourself, and I feel like this person is wanting to start over. They want to extend. They want you to see them as stable or secure, but they want you to see them um, as like putting in this effort, but Aries is just focused on this independence, okay? For some of you all, you've been waiting for a long time to get some type of clarity and understanding or truth about a situation. I do see in the month of May, you're going to get it. I feel like some of you guys, you could be dreaming of that during this time. Some of y'all could be dreaming of a child's mother or a child's father coming back to um, possibly apologize. This person will be apologizing to you in dream form. And I feel like you're actually feeling this person's intention. Some of you guys are empaths and you, um, you're kind of wanting to know or kind of studying what type of empath, the different type of empaths and things of that extent. For some of you all, some of you all could have, could be being defensive with a Scorpio. This person could be attached to um, another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That person, their party, could have moved away from them during this time. And this person is wanting to come in and balance things out with you or they could have left that other party. But someone just recently uh, up and became single Aries and they got their damn eyes on you. For some of you, you're ending relationships and becoming single. And what you don't know, the catch, the, what you don't know, the kicker is, is that you guys got new love coming. For some of you all, you're going to be finding out that you're pregnant, okay? For some of you all, you're going to find out that you're pregnant, especially if this pregnancy was um, attached to an earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo. I feel like you, for some of you all, this person could have been connected to someone else. And it's going to cause um, for someone to walk away, a transformation, an ending of some sort. Some of you guys could be being defensive towards, um, towards the Sagittarius. Or Sagittarius could be coming back to be the, with, I feel like, I, okay, y'all know I'm going to have to break it down, Water, Earth, Fire, but there's so much major icon out here, we're going to break it down. Some of you guys could be trying to balance your home and family life during this time, or you could be telling someone else, standing your ground and telling someone else you don't want to do this by yourself when it comes to family matters. I didn't, I didn't make it, I didn't make a child by myself. I definitely feel like this is a situation where, you tried to control it in the past, but at this point, it seems like now that you have made your judgment to walk away and leave it alone, now it's actually coming back to you. It's like when you actually took, in order to, to truly win, is to surrender. That type of energy Aries. But you guys are definitely going to be making a judgment call regarding the situation that you could have been trying to hold on to when it pertains to an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I definitely feel like there's a stable offer coming. Okay, moving forward, or you possibly have a, a earth sign coming traveling towards you to make a stable offer, possibly after cutting off uh, someone else. For some of you all who are dealing with the sign of um, Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Leo are here very strong with this particular scenario. For those of you who have um, a family, a child's mother or a child's father, maybe you may be in this energy where you kind of want to work things out and you kind of want to uh, come to some type of like agreement. Or some type of understanding. You just want a healthy co-parent relationship. You kind of want um, a healthy relationship where there was possibly turmoil in the past around money, around the presence, around time, around um, compromise. You know, I definitely feel like where there wasn't a vibration that was being given to you in the past, someone's wanted to come because they've undergone some type of transformation here, okay? Uh, for some of you all, you were the catalyst of this person's transformation uh, by actually walking away. You're no longer allowing yourself to be a crutch to someone else's karma. Because some y'all, some some y'all been dealing with somebody who's been trying to 
uh, suck on your damn energy like a damn parasite because they scared to face their own shit. And Aries is saying, no, let me get your ass up off me so y'all can go work that out over there, okay? <laughs> All right. So let's clarify. Why is the judgment card here? For Aries, for the month of May. Why is the judgment card here? Two fail. Yeah, some of you guys are making a judgment to release a situation around a Capricorn to a Virgo or an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I definitely feel like it has to do with resisting someone wants commitment, someone wants to take their own sweet time, or someone is really not sure, and I feel like it's really... And instead of making a decision, they're just holding the burdens. And I feel like for Aries, you just ain't got time to allow people to just be wasting your space like that. You know, until you decide, you stand over here, okay? And I'm going to close that door and the window and everything else. And, you know, because a lot of us have gone through that for the last, some of us, five years, seven years, three years, nine years, and some of us even 11 years. And it's we're, we're ending life cycles. We're ending, we're going, ending life cycles to going to millions. So we ain't got time for that bullshit. If you if you're dealing with the sign of Aries and you cross watching your Aries is not for that bullshit. It sounds good, but what are you doing? People gotta understand that about an Aries. We don't care about what you said. What you did was everything. What you're doing is everything. Because we are actions people. We are show me people. I ain't finna even sit up and have a conversation with your ass that long. But I can make you a believer. Quicker than you can blink your eyes. You understand? We taking on that energy of confidence, radiance, um, secure femininity, divine femininity. Beautiful energy, Aries. Newness. Some of you guys are going to be re um, attracting new love. Some of y'all got people. Some of y'all got options. Boy, I got so many. Boy, boy, I got so many. Some of y'all got options, okay? I got options. Options. <laughs> Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Some of y'all are dealing with an air sign, Gemma Libra Aquarius. And some of you guys, this person is trying to control the cycle from in there. Some of you guys intuitively, I feel like intuitively, some of you all know that this person um, is trying to hold on to you. And for some of you all, Aries, some of y'all just going to pull a, pull a hiatus. Just bye. You scared. I ain't scared. I'm tired of being in my head about this shit. I got to let this go. I got to go. For some of you all, Aries, somebody could be doing this to you. For some of you all, some of y'all might be having an argument with someone during this time. I feel like this has nothing to do with your partner, but an external source. Like, for those of you who have twin flame unions or divine partnerships, some of you guys may have... um Either the ex or the karmic partner. Some of y'all, this person could be watching your social media. Some of y'all, this person could also be practicing some type of like spell work. Some of you all, this person could also be um, trying to like manifest some type of pregnancy in order to keep someone. This is deep. Who does? Y'all better comment. Aries always got the tea, y'all. We, 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 we really, our life really be lit for real. <laughs> no matter what happens, Aries is always litty. Spirit, why the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Aries? Yeah. Some of you guys are moving forward, moving away, ending cycles from um, toxic, moving, ending cycles that are full of toxicity. Some of you guys are moving away. And ending, ending a cycle of moving forward, possibly away from an Aquarian, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Some of you guys are moving away from someone to heal. You're going through a transformation, Aries. Independence. Trusting yourself, trusting in yourself and your manifestation abilities. Let God do God's job. Who be listening? You be listening. And in doing so, to clarify this magician, I got ten of hearts. So some of you guys could also be transforming some type of family situation. Especially if you have a um, family dynamic with a fire sign, water sign, every field, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Earth sign. 
Gemini Libra, Gemini Libra Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's wish fulfillment here. And moving forward without the conflict, if there was some in the past, someone's coming forward to apologize. This person have accepted the fact that Aries is not going to talk to me unless I come fucking apart. I got to come bearing gifts or bearing apologies, not the ego. Or this, he or she's going to walk the fuck away from me. Okay, someone really wants to come off your shit list, Aries. Clarify this strength card for Aries. Why is the strength card here? For those of you who are dealing with air signs, Gemini Libra Aquarius, I definitely feel like there could be communication issues, issues with infidelity, issues with someone um, with change being one-sided. I definitely feel like some one, one person wants to move forward and that the other person does not. Um, or there could have been that energy in the past, but now someone wants to come in and tran transform the relationship through compromise. So that you guys can actually enjoy and be fulfilled within the commitment. You gotta get through the get through the rally of the seas. Compromise, compassion, connections, commitment. You know, it's 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 not hard. They they make us way harder than what it gotta be. I have a strength card here too. Yeah, some of you guys are walking away from a Leo. You're moving forward. Some of y'all have actually been already planning your move. Like some of y'all might get information that an that an apartment or a home is ready so that you can leave somebody out in the cold. This was structure. At least you had a plan. This could have been after receiving some type of information regarding the third party. Some of y'all already knew about the third party, but the third party wants to talk. She got she or he got something to say. They have something to say to you. Why the death card here? If you guys are dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, first and foremost, you can have a telepathic connection with this person. You guys, this person does not want the cycle to end. They really want to hold on to you, especially if you have kids with this person. But if you do not have a family dynamic with this person, this person just wants to be in your energy. I feel like this person could have um, could have walked away from this person in the past, and now this person could know that you're single, and they just don't want to miss their opportunity to snatch on to their Aries. Damn it, they want to hold on to you. For those of you who are dealing with fire, I definitely feel like it was. It, it, there needs to be, there may be a storm before there can actually be um, gold and rainbows, y'all. I definitely feel like there is some um, deep-rooted issues. There could involve family issues. It could also go to past life issues. Some of you guys are connected to fire and earth that are have some type of past life connection to you all. Earth signs, Capricorn, towards Virgo. Some of you guys could want to, some of you guys could be separating yourself from an earth sign. Due to the fact that you feel as if they can't give you what it is that you desire. And for some of you all, you're separating yourself. Um, Some of y'all, some of y'all are moving forward to the sign of damn Virgo. Some of y'all got a new boo that's Taurus. Some of y'all have, um, some of y'all got a new boo that's a Leo. And some of you guys got a returning boo that could be a Leo, a Taurus, a Pisces, or a Sagittarius. Or a Cancer. Scorpio here too. Some of you guys are going into a new cycle, especially if you already committed to a Virgo. I feel like you or this other person is going to have some type of revelation in, in dream form of some sort. And it came just like that, y'all. Revelation in some, in some sort of dream form. This person I'm hearing is cross-watching. You're going to know exactly what I'm saying. This message is for you, boo. <laughs> some of you guys could have wanted to manifest a relationship. Um, or someone who you could have walked away from, y'all. Somebody is resurrecting themselves, especially if this person is a Scorpio. This person now wants what you want, but I definitely feel like the cat's out of the bag and the cat's going to come out of the bag. You're going to find out that this person could have recently left this other person and this person could be looking to you to provide them some sort of stability. And you're looking at them like, uh, uh, this is not how this works. <laughs> yeah, I liked you back then, but you've been gone. <laughs> I like me so much more in my peace. I like for you to stand over there in the um I could give a fuck section, you know, and we we could be friends, you know, but um I pray that you learn how to treat the next person better than what you treated me because I gotta walk away from this. Saturn Jupiter, the karmic reward after Saturn after Saturn said, Okay, you got it, Aries. All right, you out here learning. Jupiter said, You got something new, you can have some uh, Aries, you can have whatever you like. But just know it's pop quiz time. Saturn didn't come to play. I did not come to play with you. 
come to slay it. Saturn didn't come to play. Why is the Temperance card here? And who is this King of Pentacles? Why is the Temperance card here? Yeah, some of you guys are going to be there's some, going to be some type of truth and clarity to be had possibly with the Sagittarius uh, regarding some type of um, deception, um, some type of manipulation, or some type of like underhanded things that things that were not seen. Okay, it's like the sun is trying to illuminate some information. Okay. From this person. For some of you all, you waited a very long time to get this information. You and this other person I'm seeing. And both of you guys are just in the space where you just want to move away from any type of chaos and conflict. You just want peace, order, and um, a positive family structure. Because I definitely feel the energy of someone has a family with this person. For some of y'all, this could have been some type of third party situation. Okay, but I do see the energy of a reconciliation. Who is this King of Pentacles? Yeah, some of you guys could have recently met an earth sign, but this person, some of you guys could have resisted this person and moved away from this person due to the fact that this person could be connected to someone else that um, they could have told you that they were going to leave. And Aries was like, look here, <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm going to help us out a lot. You ain't know about me. You ain't look me up. International level, baby. What you talking about? <laughs> Y'all, I'm crazy, y'all. I feel so good today. Why is the sun card here? What's the sun card? Yes, come on. Movement forward. Some of you guys who are waiting to hear about a lease agreement, new place, new apartment, um, new job. Um, for some of you all, you're moving forward into a new relationship. For some of you all, you're moving into a new cycle of your current relationship where there was once misunderstandings. Um, a lack of compromise or a lack of compassion. You guys are moving into a new space of not really hearing one another, but understanding each other. Okay. Why is the hermit here? Why is the hermit here? Yeah. For some of you all, in this space of solitude, you're just gonna you're just in a space of solitude in the month of May, and working on something that is going to bring you material abundance. Okay. For some of you all, you have a new beginning possibly flourishing and this could be a new beginning in love as well as a collaboration in a business possibly with the sign of Virgo. It could also be uh Taurus Capricorn. For those of you who have been having dreams about children, some of y'all got a child um in the other realm, baby, that's ready to come. This child is ready to come now. And or some of you guys who were trying to manifest having children. This Taurus the Moon got a surprise surprise for you, boo. Especially if you have an Aries moon. Aries rising. This person. Yeah. There's going to be news coming about a pregnancy. Good energy to actually try to um, have that baby now. Taurus energy is material energy. The things that you put it in, it materialized as above, so below. Some of you guys, this is also a catalytic situation, especially if this baby, you have an Attila Earth sign that you're pregnant and this person is connected to possibly an air sign or a fire sign. It is going to cause some type of shift. I just feel like Aries, you're needing to step away, hold your chi, stand your ground, and set clear and understanding boundaries. Clearly understood boundaries, I'd say. This is what I will not accept. This is what I will not. Because Aries understand people going to do what you allow them to do. So we set the dynamic up front at the door. No, 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 no. That that you did, I ain't like that shit. Don't do that shit. No. People love to call Aries rude. Y'all y'all know we ain't rude. We just tell the truth. Yeah. Some of you guys, there is some type of truth and clarity coming in fast. Propelling movement forward in a situation where well, maybe you and another person felt as if you were stuck. It's the beginning to a shared effort of being putting a shared effort of being willing to put in the work, especially if this is having to do with a Pisces. For some of y'all, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For some of you guys. Sagittarius, Taurus, gang's all fucking here, bottom of the deck though, some of you guys, 
some of you guys with that unexpected pregnancy I'm hearing some of you guys are going to be in this mental energy of well, what am I going to do what is this what is that but some of you guys could be in your head about a new beginning possibly with the um, mother or father of your children this could have to do with the Libra, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Virgo as well. Some of you all, there's the I'm hearing missing piece. So some of you all are going to be receiving some type of missing piece or missing information that's going to assist you to actually fully close out a cycle. For some of y'all, you've been waiting on this for about eight years, eight months, eight weeks. This could even involve a Leo. But there is some type, someone's coming in to assist you in free, free, getting you out of this place of unknowingness or this place of overthinking or overstressing the subject. They could involve family, some pregnancy of some sort. Someone wants that same fulfillment with you. That you could have once wanted with this from this person, could have been why you moved away from them. So you guys, let me know how that resonates. That's what I got for y'all for love and all the all the other fun stuff for the month of May. I send you all many love, many blessings, more much love, many blessings. I'm looking at this thing to see if I missed something, y'all. I'm sorry. Some of y'all got an earth sign for they propose to you, and I feel like you're going to be in your head about it because you could have recently just met this person. Some of y'all is the Leo, and some of y'all is the Sag. I ruined a surprise. I know, but I have to tell you. I got to give you all this tea. So y'all let me know how it resonates. I love y'all. I'll see y'all mid-month May. And um, actually, I'll see y'all before that. Before but I'm trying to go um, live with the Q&A because it's been a long time. When people start coming in that and say, when are you going to go live? Oh, yeah, it's been too long. So you guys. Love, peace, and hair grease, and I will see you babies later. Bye, familia.